A lot of people think that you can just call someone an independent contractor and that will make them so, but there's a lot of rules regarding classification of people who provide services to you. So you can hire an employee and that person is going to be getting a W-2, you're going to be withholding taxes from the paycheck that you give them and they are going to be governed by labor and employment laws, both state and federal, because they're now an employee. If you hire an independent contractor and you call them an independent contractor, you're going to be issuing them what's called a 1099. That's the equivalent of a W-2 from a tax standpoint. Listing what you've paid them, they are going to be required to pay their own taxes. So there's no withholding by you. They're supposed to have their own insurance and run their own operation. Now what happens a lot is an employer doesn't want to have to pay what are called FICA taxes, which are Medicaid, uh, Social Security taxes, things like that, unemployment taxes, so they prefer to hire someone as an independent contractor. But if that individual is properly classified as an employee under the law and there's a totality of circumstances that have to be looked at to decide the proper classification between an employee and an independent contractor, you can get into a good deal of trouble for misclassifying. Um, both from tax authorities, un unemployment office um, audits. So you definitely want to get the opinion of an attorney um, or an HR expert before you try to make a designation for someone that's going to be working for you a significant amount of time.